hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to show you guys how to get those very detailed up close shots i get so many questions on how to get shots like this and i have done a previous video but this time i'm going to be using my money shot lens i've been getting so many questions on how to use this i know a couple of people have bought it and they're a little confused on how to use it so it does come in this cute little bag and the cool thing about it is that it is a pretty big camera so it is two lenses in one so it does come with the attachment the clip-on attachment and this is what it looks like it does come with a protective cover for the lens and then as you can see this is what it looks like so the big one is actually a wide macro shot lens so it's the it's a it's a pretty big lens and it comes with the back the removal part and then as you guys can see it's literally two lenses I am in love with my lens because the little one, this is the one that we're going to use. It's the macro shot, uh, the macro lens. And the big one is the wide angle um, with macro. So as you guys can see, there is a huge difference in the lenses. And of course, we don't need the big one. You can use the big one if you want to take some wide angle shots. But me personally, I want to get up as close as possible. And that is what this little one is going to do. This is the game changer right here. And I know a lot of you guys are like, okay, so what is the point of the big one? Again, it is a macro lens, but it doesn't get up close the way that I like to. So I normally stay to the little one so I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to use this lens I do have a Samsung phone and I like to pull up my Instagram camera I feel like it works a lot better with my Instagram camera and it will pretty much pull up my main camera on my phone so I do have about three lenses on my phone I have a Samsung phone and it works perfectly well for any type of phone any type of even iPhones so the thing you want to focus on is making sure that you put the lens on your main camera. I know a lot of people with iPhone 13 have been struggling with this, but trust me, if you pull up your IG camera, it will bring up the main camera. So this is what it pretty much looks like. It's very, very blurry. You want to get as close as possible. As you can see, I got up pretty, pretty close. And you can tell the big difference of when you are too far out, it will look blurry. So you want to get up as close as possible. And the cool thing about this is that you can also take videos using this macro lens. I normally tend to do the videos on, um, again, on Instagram, but you could also pull up your reg regular camera. The only thing about it is if you do have an iPhone, it tends to switch back and forth between the camera, so it doesn't really tend to focus. So that's why I highly recommend to do the Instagram camera. So as you guys can see here, I am pretty far out, and look how blurry it looks. And I wanted to show you guys the difference it makes when you start getting closer as you can see I'm getting closer and closer and closer and look how detailed this looks so that is pretty much the whole point of this camera it's a macro lens so it's gonna focus on the area that you pretty much click on as you can see how I pull out and then I get closer it makes a huge difference and then since I am recording a video I'm gonna show you guys once I'm done with this clip on how it actually looks like um, when you do the videos type but the only reason why I don't really like to take the pictures on my regular camera is because for some reason it kind of tends to freeze up so that's why I use the IG camera so as you guys can see here this is the shot that I just took and look at the difference that it makes when you get up close like really up close it just looks so good so again I'm gonna pull up my Instagram camera and I'm gonna show you guys how to take good quality photos so first things first make sure you have no filters on and get as close as possible also I highly recommend for you to have really great lighting the more light the better and you're gonna want to take as many pictures as you can don't count on just one picture I want you to get as many many pictures as you can so again I'm coming in at different angles and sorry about the light <laughs> I'm gonna come in at different angles and just show you guys that you you need to play around with the angles uh, and of course this is a mannequin so it's kind of hard to show you how I normally take it on a real person but it's pretty much the same concept so what you want to do is you want to click on the screen so once you have it focused where it's not blurry then you'll click on the screen where you want it to focus on 
And again, you're going to want to click on the lashes and not the eyeball because if you are pressing and clicking on the eyeball, it's going to focus on the eyeball. So you're going to make sure that you are clicking on the area you want it to focus on. So here I'm going to show you guys how it actually works. When you click on a screen, it's pretty much going to tend to focus only on that area that you clicked on. As you guys can see here, I am clicking in the middle of the screen and only the lashes in the middle are being focused on. If you click on the outside, those are the lashes that it's going to focus on. I don't know what it is about macro lenses that they tend to do that. So that's why I always make sure to pretty much focus it mainly on the middle of the lashes and it's going to pretty much focus on everything else but it is going to kind of blur out the edges a little bit and that is the whole point of a macro i don't know why they're built that way but i honestly love them they just look so beautiful when you do this so you want to make sure that you are tilting your camera you're getting in as close as possible you're taking as many pictures as you can and when you are taking a picture i recommend for you to tell your client to sit very still and to hold it for a couple of seconds while you get your shot because if they blink it's going to come out very very blurry also don't forget to get as many videos as you can that way you can start using them for your instagram reels but that is pretty much it is as simple as that i hope this video shows how simple and easy it is to use this lens and if you guys have purchased it or if you guys still have any concerns or any questions about this lens make sure to email me or you could comment down below and i would love to help you guys out I called it the money shot lens for a reason because it takes those money shot pictures. Ever since I started including pictures like this on my social medias, it has changed the game for me. So if you want to add a little more spice to your social media accounts with beautiful pictures like this, then definitely go check out the money shot lens on my website. So that is pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys liked it and enjoyed it. If you guys did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Thank you.